to J.A. Tarpley Stadium on the campus of Dudley High School, where tonight the number two ranked Dudley High School Panthers open the season against Page Pirates right here on Friday Night Rivalries. Friday Night Rivalries, folks. It's our 18th season. We're 18 years strong, bringing you high school football here in North Carolina. Tonight, we have a whale of a game. We open up the season with the number two ranked Dudley Panthers taking on the Pirates of Page High School. And this game should be a good one. We don't know what Page has. Page, last, last season, was 0-7. They struggled. But now, Coach Doug Robertson takes the helm for Page. He has been at Eastern Guilford and won. He's been in Reedsville and won. And now he's at Page, and he says he's going to turn this program around. But on the other side of the football, the Dudley High School Panthers are loaded. They have speed. They have power. They have strength. They have it all. They're a senior-led team. Twelve of their players that start are the 22 are seniors. All of them have been deep into the playoffs and want to get a ring. That is the chant with Dudley this, this year. We want the ring. Makai Wall, he's an All-American. This kid is a return specialist. He's a wide receiver. He does big things with the football. If he gets the football in his hands, watch out. And then they have Jameer Slade, senior quarterback. He's been here for four years. Jameer Slade is the leader of this team and put up over 1,000 yards passing last year. Look for Dudley, big in this ball game, 35-6. to six. Stay tuned for the first half highlights right here on Friday Night Rivals. Extra point attempt is no good. Touchdown Panthers, penalty marker on the field.
up the middle. Give us up the middle. Touchdown, Pirates. The Pirates seven, the Panthers six. Keeper gets back near the line of scrimmage. Give us up the middle. Make some noise for you. Completed nearly in. healthy and safe stadium. Though this is not a mandate, we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in our school. Thank you. 
Welcome to halftime. I'm Walter Johnson. And at halftime, the Panthers of Dudley are up 18-7 over the Pirates of Page High School. I tell you what, Dudley has been struggling all half with the penalty flags. They've been having a problem with discipline, and so has Page. Both teams have about 75 yards in penalties, but they finally got it together, Dudley did, at the end. Trayvon Hester for, for Page has about 60 yards rushing and a touchdown. For Dudley, it's been quarterback by committee, and that committee has been pretty good. Domain Van, Savoy Edwards, both of them have touchdown passes. So at halftime, Dudley 18, Page the seven. Stay tuned for second half highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries. is incomplete. side short gain on the play Braden McCall on the tackle pass is dropped Pass is 
is complete to Makai Wall. He could go all the way. Touchdown, Panthers. Penalty marker. is complete. enjoying Dudley football. Until next time, God bless. Have a safe and enjoyable remainder of your week and weekend. Coach Anderson, week one, got the job done, but it was tough. Tell us uh, what the game plan was coming in for the night. It was good. game was trying to keep it simple, guys, get it to a half lease and you know, get them the ball so we can try to score. But we just had too many penalties, a lot of mistakes. I mean, I, I probably, we probably had over 100 yards worth of penalties. We got to correct the mistakes and uh, the penalties if we want to go far this season. Okay. Uh, you all were out without Coach Davis this week because he's out on protocol without your starting um, quarterback, Jameer Slade. Who took over in practice? Who kind of led the team? Um, we all did it as a unit. Um, he gave me the call to um, step in the shoes. But we try to do it as a unit, try, not, try not to change nothing. But you can tell Coach, that was Coach Davis' presence was missing practice. And we know we had a bad day of practice on Monday. So told him we got to pick it up each day. It showed tonight. You know, it showed tonight with all the mistakes and all the penalties. We just got to get our hand in the game. Okay. Makai, big catch over in the uh, second quarter. Kind of turned the game around. You all were down. That was the kind of the go-ahead touchdown. Yes, what did you see coming out on that play? Well, that, I knew that the DB was playing like, back far. And I was like, Coach, we got to, um, you know, torch him a little bit and as far as I know it was like third and long so we had to just keep the nine going I just wanted to make a play on it. All night long you were, you were open most of the night. Yes, uh, what, what what was it you worked on this week in practice just to get open against Page's uh, cover two defense? Uh, basically my coach was telling me like work on my routes, finding the window and everything that's all I've been working on and I know it was a little tough at first because you know I sometimes cheat my route but now this practice is meaningful for me to work on my window and I was open. Well, three catches, 75 yards. Should have been a, about a 75-yard kick return. Oh, yes, sir. Now, even though it was called back, you were in the clear. Mm -hmm. What did you see when you got the got the football, and what were you looking to, to accomplish? Uh, tunnel vision. That's all I can see. I mean, my, my blockers are doing well. I need, like, all I just see is green grass when I run. So that's how, that's how it was. Well, first of all, congratulations to you. Uh, you were the uh, Friday Night Rivalries player of the game. Like I said, three catches, 75 yards, the go-ahead touchdown. Mm -hmm. Makai Wall, they'll get a chance to vote for you later on in the season for player of the year. We want to congratulate both of you. Coach Anderson, 1-0 as a head coach today. Uh, so great job, guys. What do you look forward to, Coach, going down the road as you pick up the rest of the season? we got to clean up the mistakes, um, get the next guy to step up because we got a starting linebacker out. We had another two linebackers out tonight. And you know, get the young guys ready because your, your name can be called any second. You know, they got to be ready to play. All right, Coach, thank you so much. Makai, congratulations to you, my All friend. Right, thank you.
Ah, oh. Welcome back to Friday Night Robberies. This is our post-game show. Of course, I'm Walter Johnson, your host. Dudley victorious tonight, 18-7 to over Page, without their starting quarterback, Jameer Slade, who was out injured, and without their head coach, Steve Davis, who's home getting well from COVID. Coach, we wish you the best. But Dudley did come out 18-7 on the, on the top side of it. Makai Wall, your MVP, he had three catches, 75 yards. We'd like to thank you all for watching us every week, and stay tuned for our play of the game. Students travel to Weaver from their home schools. We offer advanced CTE courses in apparel design, automotive technology, collision technology, construction technology, diesel technology, culinary arts, Adobe Academy, drafting, HVAC, electronics, health sciences, metals technology, and media productions. Our CTE students consistently take top honors at the national level at Skills USA and other CTE competitions. Check out our school website and our YouTube channel, Weaver Stairwell Sessions, to see and learn more about Weaver Academy. <laughs> 